you so much, everyone, for coming here today. My name is Andrew Bossy. I'm the executive director of Maine Citizens for Clean Elections, and we are so delighted. We are so delighted to be welcoming a diverse uh, group of individuals and different organizations today all with the same goal, which is to have a government that's truly of, by, and for the people, not wealthy donors and wealthy special interests. Specifically, we're here today to call on the Maine Legislature and on our U.S. Congress to fight back against Citizens United rulings and other Supreme Court rulings that have elevated the role of money in our elections while diminishing the voices of everyday people in Augusta and Washington, D.C. We need a U.S. constitutional amendment that will allow us to regulate the raising and spending of campaign funds on a federal and state level. We also need to clarify the nature of incorporated entities and their roles in our election and government. People all across the state of Maine have, have added their voices to this growing movement as they have across the nation. Today we're presenting more than 11,000 postcards from Maine individuals that say we need to put people back in the driver's seat of our democracy. More than 25 towns have passed resolutions in Maine calling for a U.S. constitutional amendment on campaign finance and already we have 11 state legislatures that have urged Congress to pass a, a, a constitutional amendment and we're hoping to make Maine the 12th state. First up, we have Senator Jeff Gratwick, the sponsor of our resolution calling for a U.S. constitutional amendment. My name is Jeff Gratwick. I represent Senate District Number 32, which is from Bangor and Herman. In 2002, four months ago, more money was spent on this election, $500,000 or thereabouts, half a million dollars, than has ever been spent at any time in the past on a main legislative election. This is wrong. Today we are introducing a resolution into the 126th legislation, legislature here in Augusta to pass a, a, an amendment here in the legislature uh, and have it forwarded on to our representatives in Congress. My name is Nate Lippy and I represent part of Lewiston in the main house. I have the honor of serving the people of Lewiston on the city council and now in the state legislature. In my conversations with voters after the last several years, one thing is very clear. The people of Lewiston and the people of Maine want a democracy that is accountable to voters, not wealthy donors and special interests. Yes, yes we're here. On the Lewiston City Council, I led the charge in passing a city resolution to overturn Citizens United. Uh, a resolution, by the way, that was unanimous, uh, with Democrats, Republicans, and Independents all signing on. A federal constitutional amendment is the only way to overcome U.S. Supreme Court rulings, rulings that have struck down many of the options available to push back on the role of wealthy special interests in elections. An amendment is needed to establish more effective campaign finance reforms for the future, and Maine people are ready to support this move in large numbers. Our legislature can and must add its voice to the state's calling for a U.S. constitutional amendment that ends the money arms race in our elections and ensures our government is accountable to voters, not special interests. Hi, my name is Mallory Shaughnessy. I'm the co-chair of the Greater Portland Affiliate to the National Move to Amend Coalition. Uh, so far, over 250,000 people nationwide have signed our resolution demanding an end to corporate personhood and to overturn the money equals speech doctrine. Right on. The time has come. Uh, now I'd like to introduce Jeff Clements. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, thank you, everybody, for being here. I'm Jeff Clements, president of Free Speech for People. And we gather today on the, uh, the day following Martin Luther King's birthday to reclaim our democracy and our government of the people. As Dr. King's dream was rooted in the American dream, the American truth, that we are all created equal, so is this campaign for the 28th Amendment to the United States Constitution. Mm -hmm. To here, ensure here. that we remain a government of the people and that we not turn into a corrupted, unworkable government of the biggest corporations and the richest people alone. And this is not about party or politics. This is not a partisan fight. This is about what Americans know deep in our hearts 
that corporations are useful tools, but they do not have our sacred constitutional rights. Our elections are not some commodities market or game for the rich to play while Americans are being asked to turn from citizens into spectators. We're not going to do that. Uh, we are citizens in this great republic and we'll work together. Democrats, Republicans, Greens, Libertarians, Independents, all Americans who overturn Citizens United. And I can tell you this is happening all across the country. Right. Americans are coming together on this fight. Business people, working people, faith leaders, people, Americans of every walk of life. And that's why we saw in Montana in November a, a so-called red state, Montana, voted by 75 percent for the 28th Amendment to overturn no. Citizens United. <laughs> same day in Colorado, 75% of voters in a ballot initiative voted for this constitutional amendment. And that is happening. That's why 11 states have now joined this movement, demanded and acted resolutions, calling on Congress. And so let's make Maine number 12. Yeah. And, and we better hurry because a lot of other states are doing this. So. <laughs> And so, uh, even today, I can share news um, from Washington. Uh, today will be introduced the kind of principled, clear, nonpartisan language uh, for the 28th Amendment. It was introduced last time. It's coming back. It says the corporations do not have the rights of people under our Constitution, and we, the people, have a right to make sure our elections are fair and free. So that's being introduced in Congress, and we need Maine and the people of every state in the Union to say loud and clear to Congress, get that done get that passed by two-thirds, get it out to our state so we can ratify that amendment and make it part of our Constitution. I want to thank Senator Grantwick, I want to thank Representative Libby for taking this leadership, for their determination and work, and we pledge to join people all across Maine to get this done, to reverse Citizens United, to make our elections free and fair, and to ensure that we will always remain a government of, for, and by the people. Yes.